Here's our problem. Okay, do we have a common denominator? Are these the same? No. 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 But couldn't I just add that whole thing over there and then add that thing over that whole thing over there? Couldn't I do that? Can I? I mean, to make these the same, could I just put that here and put that here? Huh? So you remember when we were adding fractions, like? Remember how you could put three and three here, and then two and two there? You don't remember that? You don't remember how to add fractions? I mean, I'm not adding. You did it And so that's three over six, and that's four over six. So that'd be seven over six. Yeah. So can I just put that over there and that over there? As long as I did it to the numerator and denominator. Because you want to make these look the same. So basically, you have x, x minus 1, and you want these to be the same, so I'm going to put this down here. But whatever I put on the bottom, I have to put on the top, in the numerator. These almost look good like. What is this one missing? It's missing a x minus 1. So if I add an x minus 1 here, I have to put it up there. Okay? And the reason why you can do that is because x minus 1 over x minus 1, they cancel because if you divide them, you get 1. Right? So up here? Because I can't just put it down here without putting it up there. That would, that would be changing the problem. Okay, just like this x squared minus 3x plus 2, I can't put it down here without putting it up there. So are they the same now? I mean, it's a different order, but it's the same, right? Yeah? Now, what's the problem with doing it this way? I'm going to have to distribute that x to those three, right? So I'd have to do x times x squared is x cubed. x times 3x minus 3x squared. x times 2 is 2x. And then any time in the denominator, just keep it the same. Over here, I'd have to distribute those two. So 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times minus 1, minus 2x. Minus 1 times x, minus 1x. Minus 1 times minus 1, plus 1. Wow. Now, these are the same. So I can combine the fractions. So I get x squared minus 3x squared plus 2x, and that's a plus, all these. All over. start with max squared to have x squared and 2x squared which makes how many x squareds? 3x squareds but then I have this one that's negative 3x squareds so all my x squareds is gone because 1 minus 3 plus 2 is 0 now let's look at my x's I have 2x minus 2x that'd be 0 that'd be negative 1x That'd be plus one. Okay, so all that reduced to negative one x plus one. Can I factor this? Two numbers of multiple.
multiply to 2, but add up to negative 3. Wouldn't it be x minus 2, x minus 1? Is this x minus 1? Close. If I factor out a negative 1, then I get x minus 1. My x minus 1's cancel. So I should have gotten negative 1 over x minus 2, x minus 1. up somewhere. I said that was an x. I said that was an x squared, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, I rewrote it as x squared. Yeah. Uh, huh? Yes. So that should be x cubed, right? I just rewrote it wrong. And so I get x cubed, and then those don't cancel after all, do they? It'd be x cubed. That'd be minus 1x squared. Minus 1x plus 1. factor x, x cubed. This should be your final. Four terms, let's try breaking that in half. I can take out an x squared. That'd be x minus 1. Here I could take out a minus 1. That'd be x minus 1, right? Right? And so here I would get x squared minus 1. And then x minus 1. And then x squared minus 1 factors, that's x plus 1, x minus 1. Okay. So I can replace this with x plus 1, x minus 1, x minus 1. So this is the same thing as this, and that's over x minus 1. x minus 1, x minus 1 cancels, x minus 1 cancels, so I get x plus 1 over x minus 2. What do you think? Easy? Huh? Do you skip it? Huh? What? Do you skip it? Can I skip this? No, because some of you, I want you, I want you to pass the active place Now, let me show you a little trick. I've showed you the way I see a lot of kids doing it because they'll, they'll do that. They'll say, well, I'm just going to multiply that over here, multiply that over here. And I say, go for it. It's going to take more work. Okay, so I'm going to show you a different way to do this that requires fewer steps. And you'll still get the same answer. Okay, so we're going to redo it. If at the beginning you were to factor You have fewer steps to complete. Okay, 
Hey, so if at the very beginning you say, oh yeah, I could factor that. And what did it factor as? Do you remember? Didn't we say two numbers are multiplied to two add up to negative three? That was minus two and minus one. And I always like to put these in parentheses. So I, I don't forget that those are together. So now when I look at the denominators, they're almost the same. Okay? This is x minus two, x minus one. I wish I could just cross out the x minus two and make them the same, but you can't do that. So how in the world can I make x minus two, x minus one, and x minus one, how can I make them the same? What's the least common multiple there? So they both have an x minus one. This has an x minus two, this one doesn't. So what could I do? Can I just throw it in there? I can. As long as I put it on numerator and denominator, right? So as long as I put that x minus two here and here, I didn't change anything because x minus two over x minus two is one. You guys see how I can do that? I can just add it there and there. Now here we can simplify because these are the same. So I can combine these two, right? Common denominator. By the way, anytime you have factors in the denominator, never distribute them. Never. You just leave them factored. But in the numerator, what's x times x? x squared, and x times minus 2? Negative 2x. Two. Two Here, it's a plus sign. Okay, so that would be plus 2x minus 1. Okay, important. If that were a minus sign, you have to distribute the minus to 2x and a minus to a minus 1. So you would actually get minus 2x plus 1. Okay, so that's the difference between a plus sign and a minus sign. If it's a plus sign, you can just bring it down. Negative 2x plus that 2x cancel, right? So I get x squared minus 1 over x minus 1, x minus 2. Is anything factored? x squared minus 1, difference of squares. So that'd be x plus 1 x minus 1 and then does anything cancel? these two right? so I get x plus 1 x minus 2 same thing I got on the other page so which way do you like better? this way or the other way? neither? so look at these steps that's if you factor first. Or, look at those steps. You like this one? Yeah, because this, this is going to require more work. So it helps if you factor first. Okay? So that, that'll kind of teach you a lesson. You always want to factor. 